What's going on everybody? So today I wanted to just talk a little bit about a problem, honestly. Now, normally I just stick to just going through and progressing on this account, uh, but I also want to share what my experience is as a newer returning player um, who has basically made a new account, but is also super try hard. Like I load up every day, I do my clan boss, I do every single arena token that I possibly have. Um, I use every tag team arena take, uh, token. You can see here, I'm literally bronze four, which is really good in terms of a four month old account, right? This is not something that you can do unless you are refreshing a lot during the day, um, using every single one of your tag team arena tickets and all that good stuff. I also have 16,000 gold bars and I've been buying the Ancient Shard and Drexler every day, as well as the energy um, pretty much every week. Well, Ancient Shard and energy every week. I bet basically what I'm trying to say is I am not your average player. I am someone who is playing a lot more than your average player. And yet I, even I am running into this problem. Now, what is the problem? Well, actually, it, it, it came realistically. I was waiting for a little while because I was like, okay, well, maybe if you're just really try hard and you do really well um, and you perform well in the game and you're decently lucky, because I would say this account isn't like super unlucky. It's actually decently um, lucky. It's got some good decreased defense characters and it could be much worse, right? I would say it's a little bit above average in terms of how my account is situated, right? And that means that I was able to progress a little bit quicker on top of being a try hard. And so I'm still running into this problem. And if you guys have not watched my previous video, I got my first character to 305 speed, which is pretty good, right? That's a pretty fast character. It's not easy to do unless you get lucky with your rolls, right? And people might say, oh, that's easy. It's not easy, guys. Um, for those that are newer players and starting their accounts over, for your average casual player, people won't reach this until potentially years into the game. Um, that is your casual player. On top of that, some people who have been playing for years don't even have a 300 speed character because they don't even, you know, focus on this or necessarily know how to really uh, get a ton of speed. So this is not easy to do. A lot of us who, you know, are in the comment sections or a lot of us who are watching videos or even myself who are creating videos are way at like the top 5% of people that play these games in terms of how much we play, um, how much we like invest ourselves in the game, research the game, right? We're definitely the abnormal population. And so I wanted to bring to, to light a, an issue, which is that the arena shards are brutally stacked against you as a new player. Now, people have always talked about, oh, well, you know, silver is hard or getting to gold is hard and, and getting out of bronze is difficult. And that's all, you know, something to consider, right? However, something even more so than that is the fact that even at someone like myself, who is absolutely grinding the game and grinding up the speed, we should not be competing against years, years and years and years of, of players, right? This should not happen. We should have divided up arena shards to where one, we actually have the ability to participate in our own arena uh, so that we can actually go ahead and realistically fight some of these teams instead of just being outsped all the time and there's nothing we can really do about it because they have years of gear farming on us, right? Like there is not really a team that I could fight. Like, let me try this fight here. Again, I've already, I already tested this a ton in my previous video, uh, but you'll always find their Arbiter is just faster than us because they have better gear. And this is not the only thing, right? They have just better stats and all this stuff. And it's very difficult to compete. Again, I have a 305 speed character. So this is, a very very decent speed but these people you know they're at 330 340 sometimes like 360 even they're just far faster than i am simply for the fact that they've had years to grind out their gear and this is probably a mistake because i'm probably not going to win because there's three force characters over there oh wow we actually managed to uh to nuke them down without decreased defense necessarily it's actually pretty good i'm pretty impressed with that but um when you're fighting against these arena characters and you have not only do you have massive speed amounts but massive defensive mounts which again is something to consider they just have better stats than us and i really think that a lot of other games do this a lot better now and i'm sure raid will probably never change but i just wanted to bring to light this issue which is arena is incredibly difficult for a new player even if you're trying hard like me now i know i've said yeah you can get to gold if you play the game but that's the problem is that you have to refresh every 15 minutes. 
if you refresh every 15 minutes you have to be grinding the heck out of the game like i i kid you not i refreshed every 15 minutes for like eight hours straight that was my gameplay routine in arena why because i was looking for fights like this one or looking for fights i can't i couldn't even beat the warlord one um because it's just you know he's too tanky and, and oftentimes has regeneration but you know i had to make sure i'm fighting those one people battles and specific ones at that to make sure i could even go through and realistically beat some arena battles so even though i was at gold five and i was progressing right even then it would require an immense amount of effort on my part and the average player would log in maybe play an hour or two a day certainly not refresh every 15 minutes we're talking about an hour or two a day throughout the day as well so it's not like consistent play um and who knows if they're even going to have the ability to do all these arena you know shenanigans because um realistically you know they're actually playing the game Right? They're, they're actually like going through and doing content. They're, um, you know, farming or they're um, running dungeon runs or doing their clan boss. Like that's the stuff, type of stuff that they need to do in order to progress their account more so than running the arena. And so they don't even have time to do arena, much less refresh it throughout the day. And I think this is honestly a, a bigger issue than most people, even myself, uh, realized. Because again, we're talking about this is going to last permanently through their entire experience in the game it's not like oh yeah you eventually grow out of it that's my point is that i have played for four months straight i have arbiter i have been grinding like crazy so most people when they you know even i've even got called out saying like there's no way you can get arbiter in four months you know you must be spending money um and i mean that's just not true i haven't spent money on the account so you know the average person that's gonna get arbiter might be eight nine months into the game and even if they do get arbiter they're not gonna be as fast as i probably in terms of like speed numbers and that's like a really rough scenario right because they're not even gonna get the ability to compete against even a small amount of these teams much less even attempt to compete with their arbiters the enemy arbiters right and that's the main issue right is that every arbiter is faster than mine no matter what i'm i'm fighting and you know there might be a kind of argument here where it's like yeah but it's gold five it's like the top end of arena you shouldn't be um you know just easily walking through and i would agree but there's not even a chance is the problem there's not even like a reasonable chance for free-to-play players uh that are newer players because you're competing against all these people that have literally lifelong raid accounts uh and that's the main issue is that there should just be some sort of balancing effect whether or not they have like a smaller arena shard whether or not they give you like a new player arena shard for like the first year or something i don't know what the perfect solution is one thing's for certain though is that it's not a fun experience for the average new player that is certain and i know because arena has been consistently complained about over the years and even more so um you know very much recently so i wanted to throw my opinion in the ring and just talk about it a little bit because it is uh it is rough for a lot of people out there and i think that you know it's been dismissed or not talked about enough but that's gonna be the end of the video let's see what we get for the clan boss rewards guys Ooh, legendary book it's actually a pretty big one uh so that's gonna wrap it up hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i know it was different than i normally do but i might do some more of these just talking about my experience as a new player while trying to keep a realistic perspective because after i end this video i'm gonna minimize this tab put it on my second screen and stare at it for the rest of the day um while doing all my other work and stuff so you know it's uh <laughs> it's definitely not the average player so I try to keep that in mind and I want to share what a realistic perspective might look like for, again, the average new player. Because at the end of the day, yeah, honestly, I'm probably it's it's, it's I guess, feedback on deaf ears. But I don't know, I guess it's, it's interesting to talk about at least. That'll be that. I'm happy about that legendary book and I'll see you all for the next video.